buddy. What are you doing? When he sees me, he gets all excited. He actually will purr like a kitty. As soon as he hears my voice, he comes running from wherever he is in his room, hiding, sleeping. Every time I go to his room and I say good morning to him, I pick him up, I snuggle him, and I tell him he makes me so happy and I love him so much. Ow! I am Alicia, and this is Rocky's story for Geo Beats. I was a manager at a restaurant, and a customer was sitting outside on our deck, and Rocky was trying to beg for food, brawling up the guy's leg, and trying to get some french fries. He was literally begging for help, almost. He was really, really dehydrated and very hungry. So that told me that he had not had any interaction with his mom in at least a few days. It's very, very rare to see squirrels in the area that I found him. I did check around and there were no other babies. There were no other adult squirrels around. So he was clearly alone. We wrapped him in a blanket and put him in the box and I carried him up to the office and was like, what do I do with this? <laughs> I have done different rescues, helping wildlife, but the squirrel was a new experience. I took him home. My husband looked at him and he said, is that a squirrel? <laughs> and I said, yes. And I don't know what I'm doing with him, but I couldn't leave him. I started Googling information on what to do with a baby squirrel. And I just took it from there. It was late fall and I ended up making the decision to just hold on to him and care for him and try to release him in the spring. Got him a little house set up and everything that he would need. Are you taking a nap? I was very strict with foods and trying to make sure that I kept him healthy. Not too many nuts and stuff like that because nuts are actually not good for them. They're just form of a snack. And of course we played a lot. So come spring, I was sad about the thought of releasing him, but also very excited because I thought it would be really cool to have him running free, enjoying his life as he was supposed to. I started taking him outside and he was in the tree for a couple hours and then he decided to come back in the house. From my research, that was the proper way to do it, where he needed to be outside for at least a few weeks to acclimate to the environment and get ready for release. He seemed to really enjoy it the first couple days that we were outside playing. But he started getting scared of like every little noise, cars going by and other squirrels in the yard. Everything's just started making him nervous. We kept trying, I was trying to be patient. Then one day he accidentally got outside without me and I went outside and I was like, okay, well, he's in the tree. All of a sudden, a motorcycle zoomed by my house and it scared him and he took off and I didn't see him for eight days. I was so traumatized and so upset and crying and searching for him because that's not how I wanted to release him. He didn't have a nest to go to or he wasn't used to the environment yet. I was very nervous about what would happen to him. Finally, he appeared and he was so beat up. I'm assuming that the other squirrels in the yard, because they are territorial, they didn't like him being there. So he was pretty beat up and very hungry and he did not want to go back out. So he's been with me ever since. Fluffer. He's going to be 10 years old this August. I've had him since 2014. What are you looking for? I still take him out sometimes, not hold him. He won't try to run or anything like that. He is free roaming in his own room and I will bring him upstairs sometimes. Every morning he gets his fresh bowl of food, he gets snacks, he gets loves, we play and he does his thing. Bye. He loves to play with stuffed animals. Aww. That's one of his absolute favorite things to do. Since I've had Rocky, I have rescued and rehabbed many different squirrels and released them into the wild. I have two other squirrels. They need one-on-one -on -one care all the time because they're handicapped. When I have squirrel babies that I rehab, once they're old enough, I will let them interact with Rocky. And he almost takes like a father figure towards them. He's very gentle with them. He is a very sweet boy, very down to earth type of personality. I love you. The only time that he might get a little irritated is if he has a nut. What are you doing, dude? And you try to touch him while he's eating his nut. He does get a little nut upset. <laughs> Putting a nut in my bed. 
Thanks, buddy. It's just what I always wanted. Thanks, bud. Average lifespan of a wild squirrel would be three to five years tops, but domesticated squirrels that are in captivity, if they are healthy, they can live 10 to 20 years. I feel like I have been blessed by having him into my life. Are you going to come down? Or are you going to stay up there and keep building this massive nest? I never ever expected a squirrel to take over my heart the way he has. My little love bug.